Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Critic Scott. My name is Jacob, and today we're having a look at all the Lego Marvel Spidey and his amazing friends minifigures. This is from two waves we have now gotten of this sub theme from Lego Marvel, and they have done quite a variety of minifigures. We've only had four villains, three side heroes, and quite a few variants of the main trio. But yeah, make sure you subscribe if you want to see more content like this in the near future. So let's take a closer look at these minifigures. So first I thought we'd take a look at the main star of the show himself, Spider-Man. Um, we've got two variants of him so far, which is strange compared to the other two Spider-People. We also got in the middle there the little drone, which is a unique one-piece mold. It appears in two sets, so you can see it just attaches to one stud. I forget the name of this little Spider-Bot, but it's good to have extras of these. Uh, so on the left, this is from the first wave, and on the right, this is from the most recent wave. Comes in the cheapest set and also the largest set. But yeah, um, as you can see, they've only really changed up the emblem. Not too much else has changed. The face prints are identical. Spinning these around the back, and the back torso prints are also the same, which is unfortunate. We'd like to see something different done there. Next up, we have Spider-Man Miles Morales. We have three variants of him compared to Sp the other Spider-Man, which is very odd. So we've got the underwater version of him, so removing the helmet. Yeah, you can see there, uh, the face prints are the same. I love the one in the middle that they actually changed up the colour scheme where they gave them black legs instead of red legs. And the white logo just kind of really pops. So this is actually a really great minifig. I never really noticed until comparing them side by side that they were different in that way. Spinning these around the back. This is a really cool back torso print for the underwater version of him. Next up we have Spider Gwen or Ghost Spider aka Gwen Stacy. Again, three variants of her. Very odd that we haven't gotten one for Spider-Man at the torso printing. So you can see they've just swapped out the emblem there, giving it the glowing effect, which all the new 2023 versions have. Um, removing the fishbowl piece, it's the same face print. Uh, but yeah, these three are pretty standard and pretty similar compared to Miles Morales, who is quite a, bit, quite a bit of variety out of the three characters. But yeah, you can see the back torso printers again with the underwater gear there. Next up, we have the um, heroes they team up with throughout the show. So we have on the left, Miss Marvel, who came in the most expensive set from last year. Hulk as well came from a relatively cheap set. Really cool with the dual molded legs, with green and purple. Black Panther is brand new and comes in the most expensive. Reminds me a lot of a Mighty Micro figure if they did Black Panther in that style. These two look really good, actually. You could probably use these as standard Hulk and Miss Marvel minifigures. We did get one Miss Marvel back in the day, but she came with a stretchy arms, which... They haven't done since the hair piece for her which is very unique to her and you can see removing the hair pieces for a pair of them you can see their face prints spinning around the back and it's got some alternate facial expressions unfortunately no back head printing for the black panther there but yeah these look really great these are terrific minifigures and hopefully we get more heroes i would love to get an iron man version of these and ant-man and the wasp in the near future so these are three of the villains they've included throughout the wave um sandman is brand new for the year. came in the green goblin lighthouse set these two have been in quite a few sets now uh green goblin comes with the printed pumpkin piece which comes with the lighthouse set he comes with a variety of different things and this is one of his mini hover boards very generic but i love these green pieces anyway um, yeah, so these are really great. Uh, I love the new Sandman. Very good. You could probably use him as a normal Sandman. Green Goblin doesn't look quite right to me. Rhino is very cartoony, but I do love the new helmet mold piece they created for him, which if you haven't seen that before, you can see there back torso and only Green Goblin gets an alternate face, which is unfortunate. And last but not least, we have Doc Ock, who is the female version of her, which reminds me of the Spider-Verse version of her, but it's not quite the same character. Uh, but yeah, she looks really cool. Um... They, she comes in the new cheapest set for the new wave uh, back torso piece you can see her back torso print in there but yeah she's a really cool minifigure i do love the hair piece they use for her and she doesn't have an alternate face that's going to do it guys for a quick look at all the lego marvel spidey minifigures um, let me know in the comments section which ones are your favorite there's quite a good variety here but i hope that in the next couple of ways we get some future um heroes and villains we could do with like electro um, Iron Man, Ant-Man and Wasp, I know four characters that they've done in this show because we all speculated they would be included in the 2023 wave but unfortunately they weren't but yeah, let's see if this thing continues into 2024 and uh, see you guys in the next video, bye for now